Hey guys, it's Deanna with My Cheap Thrills, and this is part two of my birthday shopping spree. Um, I am one of those annoying people that celebrate their birthday all month long, so all of July, I'm gonna uh, be spending my birthday money and um, using some gift cards, and I will be sharing my purchases with you. Um, so I'm gonna have to stop in the middle of this video because I don't have enough hangers, which leads me to my next um, kind of mission is to start purging and getting rid of some of my clothes. I have no more room, I have no more hangers, and I'm gonna try to limit my spending to what I'm able to make on clothes that I sell. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so first of all, I wanna start with new retail stuff. And so for my birthday, we went to La Cantera because I really wanted to go to H&M. H&M opened here in San Antonio on June 14th, so this was the first chance I was able to go. Um, but I did stop at Hollister and I did pick up this cute little peasant shirt. It's like, um, what is it called? Peplum, sheer, blue, and it was on sale for $7.99. So I picked that up and then at H&M, I was lucky enough to get one of their $4 um, little tunic dresses. It's long enough to be a dress. It could be a cover-up or you can wear it with jeans. I love this pattern. We actually got two more patterns, but they only had them in size small. So my mom took the pink and the animal print, and I took the large in the uh, turquoise kind of tie-dye pattern. I also got this animal print top at H&M for $5 and it's also a long um, oversized tee. I love the way it fits with leggings or with skinny jeans and I got two pairs of leggings. Um, these were on sale for $5. It's is a cute little whoop, hot pink and purple animal print and I got these, oh, these hangers are terrible. black and Eiffel Tower little stretch pants. I also got this pair of nude ballerina flats. These were the only thing I paid full price for. They were $12.95. I didn't pay for them. They were a birthday present. But still, they're the only thing I got full price. But I really needed a pair of um, nude shoes. So this is what I picked out. Okay, so then I also went thrifting and I always like to show you what I got for my husband because if those of you who um, have men in your life are not thinking of thrifting for them or guys who are interested in thrifting, you can really find some good things. So I actually picked up him, let me think. I actually ended up getting 45 items and I paid 12 bucks, I believe, 25 cents each. So $12, I don't remember what exactly what it was with tax, but right around $12. And I ended up getting him quite a few shirts this time. Some of them were for work and they're just plain old uh, navy blue polos. And I got him some other shirts that he really didn't like, so we actually washed them and already uh, gave them away. Um, but these are four that he's going to keep. This is just a Las Vegas, um, kind of like a mint green uh, golf shirt. And it's made out of that golf shirt material that's like really comfortable during the summer. I also got him this natural issue um, burgundy button up. And um, it's got kind of like this uh, checkered little square pattern on it, really cute. And then I got him this Puritan, kind of like a little bowling shirt, real cute. But this was the best item of the day. It's a Burberry golf shirt, got it for 25 cents. It's red, white, and blue um, striped polo, great condition. And so that is what I got for him. Okay, so I've turned my little rack around and I'm just gonna show you some of the items that I picked up. I'm not gonna show you all the items because some of them were just like workout clothes, nothing really special, some jeans, um, some t-shirts, you know. Um, but these are the things that are like, I think are really great for a quarter. 
So this is a Style & Company shirt. It's another like uh, peasant shirt, empire waisted with big poppies on it. I thought that was really cute. This one is a little bit big, but I'm gonna wear it as a jacket because it's like so 80s looking. It's like a white cardigan and it's got like little traveling scenes all over it. This is a um, hot pink silk shirt with these little gold buttons. I'm definitely gonna wear that with like dark jeans for work. This is a red Old Navy uh, dress. I think this is like great for Christmas time. It's long sleeve, really cute, really nice color. This is a really old Worthington shirt, so from JCPenney's, but I just like the detailing on it and I thought it was really cute. This one is Mariana Luna and I love the color it's uh, navy blue and green and it's gathered at the waist just a little um, sleeveless top and here is my one piece of outerwear that I picked up this is a little cape and it's from a company called opening act I've never heard of it but it's got these uh, really big buttons and it's so cute. I'm going to wear it this winter. Now here's a more uh, modern Worthington uh, shirt from JCPenney's and it's this beautiful eggplant color. And now these two items are totally 80s, like vintage 80s. This is a oversized sweatshirt with like these pearl detailings on it. I know this looks like the Golden Girls, right? But I like it. I like it a lot. And I just thought it was really cute. It reminds me of the mom on the Goldbergs, but I'm so going to wear it. And here's another really weird shirt. This is a really uh, long, oversized, sheer shirt. And it's got kind of like a, I don't know what kind of print this is, but I just really liked it. Um, this is a little mustard yellow uh, oversized tee. I thought that was cute. And here's a Faded Glory from Walmart olive green um, cardigan. And here's a New York and Company uh, oversized sweatshirt, kind of those ones that go over the shoulder a little bit, gathered at the bottom. Here is a kind of like a, I need to iron it, it's like a brown color, kind of between a brown and a green Kind of like a military color, khaki color, I guess. Um, this is from Kohl's, Sonoma, little T. And this one is, it fits me kind of weird, so this is kind of like a maybe. This is a little tank top, but I love the pattern. It's kind of got an equestrian feel to it. And so what I'm thinking is, if I don't like the way that it looks with like a brown um, cardigan. I'm going to cut it and use this material as a scarf. Okay, here's another shirt from Sonoma. It's just a real cute little lazy tee. Cute graphic pattern, but great for the summer. And here's nothing really special. It's just a turquoise OPI little t-shirt, but it's long enough that I really like it. Is there a stain on it? No, it's just the light. I thought that was a stain, but I don't know if it is or not. I don't know, I have to look at it in the light. It looks like it on the camera, but when I'm looking at it straight on, it doesn't look like it, so kind of weird. Um, this was a little dress from Target, but it definitely didn't work out for me. It's like a maxi dress, but I don't like the way that it looks, so I'm gonna use this material at the bottom for a um, infinity scarf. And here's two uh, peasant skirts. Here's a black one from Mixit. And here is a brown one from Anna. So that's from, I don't know where Anna's from, JCPenney's or Macy's. And Mix It is from, I don't know where that's from either, but I've seen them both around. So I got this uh, thermal from American Eagle Outfitters. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I'm definitely, it's for a boy, but I figured it's a medium, so it'll fit me. Just wear it with jeans like to go shopping or whatever. And this is a Claiborne button-up. Really beautiful colors. It needs to be ironed, 
but um, I really, really liked this shirt a lot for work. Okay, so here's a couple of odds and ends. I picked up this blue um, maxi dress. It's really long. It's from Bonkers, totally 90s. Just a cute little maxi dress. And then I got these weird pants. They're, they look like those um, harem pants, but they're not quite so baggy in the crotch area. But I thought for around the house, I'm trying to be a little bit more daring and, and wear these shirts with maybe like a tank top. And then I found this really beautiful scarf. I don't think it's anything special, but I did really like it. It's like a big wave with some Asian um, writing. I thought it was pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Pretty cute. So I just picked up some t-shirts just to work out in. Although I wanted to know if anybody knew if this one was a good t-shirt. Well, this one is from a company called Doctrine. And look at the back. Ooh. Pretty fancy. I liked it. Whoops. And it's got the velvet detail on the front as well with a big cross. So I really like that. And then this one came from Obey. And I've heard of that before. I think I've seen it like at um, Buckle, but I'm not quite sure. So I picked it up because I thought it was good. I thought my husband might like it, but he didn't. So I will use it to work out in. And then I also found a 1999 Spurs Championship t-shirt, which of course is a collector's item. And so for a quarter, you can't go wrong there. And just a few other things I wanted to show you. I got these Levi Capris. And I got this Calvin Klein skirt. Now it's an A-line skirt with the zippers in the front and it's got kind of like that big pleat. And I love the way these look with sweaters and boots in the winter. So totally out of season, but I had to pick it up for just a quarter. And then I picked up this shirt as well. I just thought it was really, really cute with the mandarin collar and the little details. I don't know, I really like Asian um, inspired things. So here's this. Yeah. Okay, so everything else was just either workout wear or shirts that I got my husband that he didn't like and so nothing really exciting just tank tops and workout stuff um but i did also pick up this shirt from the fashion bug it's like way too big for me but i just really liked it and when i tried it on i saw how easy it would be to um to adjust so i picked this up as well really cute little shirt and so that's it i hope you enjoyed my little um thrift haul um, hopefully more to come. I also want to be doing some videos to let you know um, how well I do as far as selling some of my items. I'm going to be trying, you know, the various places online, maybe garage sale, uh, thread up, and probably taking some stuff to Plato's Closet and Close Mentor. So I'll definitely be letting you know how that goes. And then the money that I get from the stuff that I sell, I will be doing more clothing hauls and I need to buy some hangers too. So more to come. Thank you so much for watching and uh, bye.